Hello, 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 and welcome. It is Thursday night. Tonight we have got some technical issues here on Queen's Table, so I am on my phone now. <laughs> Michelle is on holiday, so hello, Michelle. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Stressed. The Wi-Fi is not here, so yeah, all good. How are you? Yeah, all good. Wi-Fi problems as well, and my laptop's decided to die and decided now to do an update. So yeah, you have to bear with us tonight. So welcome to Queen's Table. We have the very beautiful Michelle Gordon, who's Mrs. West Sussex Galaxy. As always, if you've got any comments, pop them um, in the comment box and I will see what I can do. So yeah, I can't believe it's Thursday again. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So where are you on holiday? Uh, we're in Devon. I couldn't be bothered with all the grief of going on holiday abroad. So we decided on a nice little break uh, in Devon. So it's nice. Oh, Apart that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the Wi-Fi, yeah. But it's all right, you're here. <laughs> I am, yeah. I might cut off, but we're here at the minute, so it's all good. <laughs> oh, well, that's absolutely fine. Well, I better start asking you some questions then, my darling, and nice. So what I'll do is to start off, it's obviously lovely to see you. So what I'm going to start off with is ask you, why did you choose the Galaxy system? Well, as you know, uh, my daughter Layla uh, entered Galaxy Junior last year. And when I walked in, I'm very... I'm one of these per well, one of these people that I go in sort of closed eyes and then I I'll open my eyes quite wide if I if I feel I like something. And when I went to Galaxy, the atmosphere was incredible. And you know, the inspirational women that I met as well, it just made me think, do you know what? I want to be part of this too. And knowing that Layla loved the Galaxy family so much, it just it was a no-brainer for me. And also a few of the queens made me very welcome. A lot of the Galaxy people made me feel very welcome and turning forward last year I thought I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it yeah I love it 40 you look amazing for 40 this is what I mean but as you know I'm in my 40s and it's never too late to start a pageant is it I always think it's fabulous so, so how long has your daughter been doing Galaxy for so Layla uh well so she joined June she was junior last year before obviously lockdown and then went in for teen this year so she's gone junior then teen she we did win uh Miss yeah, uh, photogenic last year, which was really good. A really good achievement for her first. Um, yeah, so she's doing this year. So we're doing the journey together. Oh, that's lovely. Mum and daughter journey. And there's a, there's another mum and daughter as well, actually, isn't there? With Chloe and Helen. And I yeah. think it's lovely. It's so, so nice. It's just something you can do together. I mean, like my little one is, um, she's like a little Miss Atlantic queen, actually. But, you know, doing pageant stuff together is absolutely amazing. It's something very mummy and daughter in it, it's great. So um, the other thing is, is um, it, I understand this is your first pageant. So what gave you the idea to, what made you make that jump? What was the main thing, do you think? I would say it was Layla, but also the, the inspirational people that I've come across over the last sort of so. And I was sitting there, like my, my granddad passed away on Christmas Eve, very poorly anyway. and. I've always done a lot of charity work before I did pageantry. And when my granddad passed away, I was like, I'd like to find to make him proud. I know he's proud of me anyway, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to do something that'll make him proud. And that's when I chose the platform I did as well. Um, I, I don't know. I, I was just one of those, saw Layla, how much she enjoyed it, saw everybody and how much they enjoyed it. And I, I wanted something for me. You know, I've got four, five children and grandchildren. And to do something for me something that i felt that i could do for me inspire others etc i just wanted to do something that i could put myself out there and people would go she's an inspirational woman just like i do everybody else oh that's lovely so going on to your granddad um i believe that will lead on to your very important platform could you tell me about that yeah so my granddad passed away again on uh christmas last year he had parkinson he did he did actually, the reason why he ended up passing away was because he had a nasty fall down to Parkinson's. So for me, it was kind of a no-brainer. It is my platform for charity. I have done, I think, I think nearly five hundred pounds already for Parkinson's, which isn't too bad. Um, but I wanted to spread awareness because it is a charity stroke platform that people don't hear much of. Um, Parkinson's is quite. A disease that people hear of, but not very often. It's quite rare here 
a lot of people talk about Parkinson's. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to make more awareness of Parkinson's at the moment nationally, hopefully nationally, you know. So with your platform, um, I did see you've done a few campaigns online. Tell me have, these campaigns you've been doing. I'm asking people to stand on one leg and balance. If they can do a video, great. If not, then it's fine. Uh, just stand on one leg, holding something pageantry if you're in pageants. If not, then anything at all. Uh, and just balance because that is part of is part of Parkinson's is, is uh, balance issues. It's, yeah, it's a very clever platform. And then you've been, had some brilliant ones, haven't you, um, for that? And it's been really, really good. I mean, I've seen it everywhere. So it's a really, really successful campaign that you've done. And that means a lot to you as well, obviously, because you're a granddad. So, yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, signals are probably I'm talking while I'm talking and it's, it's our signals are all over the place. So sorry, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, we've done it. We've done it right. We're on, on our phones with really bad signal. My computer's died. And like, yeah, it's, it's all good. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> so yeah, it's all good. So your family means the world to you and you're obviously on holiday with them now. So tell me a little yeah. bit more about your family. So I have five children, one being a stepson. Um, he is 25 and has four children and one on the way. I have a son who's 20 on Saturday. I have Layla in the day before I compete in Galaxy. Uh, Leah is Fern, who I'm trying... Well, actually, she's put herself forward for a pageant, but I'm not telling you yet until she's uh, been announced. So she has put herself forward. Um, and Avery is 10. Uh, and obviously, my gorgeous husband, who I have been with next year, 20 years. Uh, we've been married 10 years next year, and we're actually renewing our vows as well next year. So it's all exciting stuff. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? So what does your husband think about you doing the pageant? Ah. Sorry, I didn't hear that. We just cut out completely. <laughs> that's OK. No problem at all. So what does your husband think about you doing a pageant? He, he, to be honest, at the beginning, he didn't really take it too seriously. Um, and Layla's got a lot more into it as well. And I think now we're both doing it together, he's taking it a lot more seriously. Um, it's actually Focus Cloud is mine and my husband's work. It's my husband's company. Um, and that's who sponsors me and Layla. Um, so now he's taking it very seriously because he's sponsoring us. <laughs> that's amazing, isn't it? So it's lovely to have the support from your husband and everything. So be there, oh, yeah. your whole family be there cheering you on in, in the final. I've told him to stay at home. <laughs> Coming up to watch, not watching me. I've told him to stay at home and stream it on the Friday. Um, I've got a few of my friends coming up. Uh, so I've, I've told everyone just to stream it. And then it'd be nice for Layla to have her mum and dad there to watch her on the Saturday. Oh, that's incredible, isn't it? No, it's going to be exciting times. It's going to be a fabulous time. And it's coming up so soon. I think it's about 13 weeks away, isn't it? So how's your preparation going? I think Am. Amber, I think I put, uh, sorry, I think I saw Amber put her on her story today that it's like 100 days or something today. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. <laughs> Not that long, but preparation wise, everything's good. Uh, I'm nearly there. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I've done. My, I've got my fashion, I've got my swimwear, I've got my opening. I have obviously used um, Daniela Latterman. Uh, Latimer for uh, aka the pageant stylist to help me out a bit but he's um Fab. so I've just got to do my evening gown for that so otherwise I'm in I'm yeah I'm, I'm in a good state at the moment so good oh yeah you've got some good advice going there from Daniela she's amazing at what she does isn't she so you're nearly all done then just one bit to go yeah yeah so what are you most yes, looking I... sorry you're cutting out a little bit but and so what are you Sorry. most looking forward to? Me, do you know what? It's being back with all the girls. It's having that friendships, joining everybody, having fun and making the most of the time together where we had such a rough year last year when no one could see each other. And um, it's just nice for us all to now get back together, have some fun. And where I've been talking to so many people via Zoom, via Messenger, via this, via that, we're actually getting to meet face to face. And I've made some really good friends in the last year. So for me, it's 
being with those people and obviously stepping on stage and showing my sassy side is also is a is a good is a must well it was good the other week as well wasn't it because you got to spend all that time at the with people at the pageant girl weekender which you went to um i've just seen some comments now so we've got a bit of signal so nicola hello nicola she says hello beautiful ladies and tina grant said love you and your beautiful daughter layla did say such a good platform <laughs> say hello everybody um but yeah no it's fabulous and i think it's incredible that you're doing a pageant now and you're just taking that plunge and i just cannot wait to see you on that stage i, I just think you're gonna rock it you're gonna have so much fun and um, i get to spend the day with you as well yay <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be, you know, I've met so many ladies, especially in the Mrs. category, that have made me feel so welcome. So it's going to be so, it's going to be such a nice day anyway. We've just, because obviously the Ms. and the Mrs. are together as well, aren't they? So it'll be quite nice for everyone to be together, chat, talk, socialise, have fun. You know, it's, 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 it's all about like each other as well. It's not just about the competition, it's about the friendships you make and the fun that you have, you know? Yeah, I completely agree with you with that one. I mean, the friendships I've made, it's my fifth year of doing pageants this year. And I never th thought, if you asked me sort of seven years ago, would I be doing a pageant? I'd be like, well, I haven't even really heard of what it's about. And I must admit, how, how special the friendships are and the people you make really make it, doesn't it? And that's what I love the most. And the day is just, you know, the few days down there. I mean, obviously, Galaxy's on for a few days. It's just that zone. It's the hotel that you stay in. It's just everything, isn't it? So it's really, really, really good. It is. And there's just so much. I think the build up as well. I've got so much coming up as well that I think it's the build up of, of what is it, November, 100 days. I've got so much going on between now and. Uh, November. We've got Diamond this weekend, so I don't know who's going to Diamond, but I am travelling up four and a half hours on the train uh, to go and watch Diamond, so I will see people there. Oh, bless you. It's a really, really good event, that is. I went last time. Unfortunately, I can't make it this time, but um, I will be watching on the live stream, but that's going to be fabulous. So you're going to be out and about everywhere, but what's been your favourite appearance so far that you've done? It's got to be where I dropped, well, I made um, £1,500 for a, a little girl with leukaemia. And for oh. me, yeah, I, she, I, I, it's, I did a just giving page because she was in hospital. This is the same time I had it. It's, um, she had it a couple of years ago. It's actually my daughter's friend, Luana. And she um, got leukaemia. She, she got through it. She was in remission. Bell, three months later, the leukaemia came back. So she came back quite hard. So she was in hospital quite a lot. And I thought, you know what? You've got no communication with the outside world. So I'm going to try and get you a laptop for schoolwork, for you to communicate with other friends, et cetera. So I said like a limit of £350. And within 24 hours, I'd made a £1,000. Um, so once wow. uh, after a week, I think it came up to like 1500 So I took the money out and I asked her mum what she wanted. And she said she'd love a little Apple Mac. So I ended up buying her a load of Apple stuff and gave them the rest of the money that was remaining for her to get some summer clothes and stuff, which was really nice. And when I dropped that stuff off to her, to me, that was the most priceless moment ever because she was so taken back. So for me, by far at the moment, that is the best appearance and the best appearance for me. See if that, that, is, that is so, so beautiful. That really is. And it just makes... That is just such a caring and wonderful thing to do. And that's just such an amazing um, appearance and fundraiser there. I mean, you must have been absolutely delighted and her family must have been as well. That's so lovely. So well done for that. So what? I was, your next question was actually, what's your biggest achievement so far? So what do you think that is? Oh, hello, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle has frozen for a minute. <laughs> okay we'll see if we can get her back a minute i'll just see if we can hopefully we can but like i say the signal blesser in devon is a little bit dodgy <laughs> so well what i'll do for a second just to see if michelle comes back um nope no we've lost her now next week we have 
got Miss Inspirational Ambassador Adrian Robinson. So she will be with us next week. So what I'll have to do, I don't know whether I can get Michelle back. So what I'm going to do is um, finish there. But I hopefully will see you all next week for Queen's Table. And you all have a lovely week. Take care. Bye-bye.